What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Spin Tires mod. Now, this is a Jeep Wrangler crawler, as you guys can obviously see, and what you'll notice is, if you saw my G65 AMG video from a while back, you'll notice that these are the exact same wheels that were on the G, uh, G65 AMG 6x6. Now, um, they've converted this Wrangler from, I believe it was another mod that they that was made a while back, and it was converted over not only into a crawler, but they also added crawler gears, and they changed up a bunch of stuff, and this is my first time with this, whoa, there, disable the e-brake, but no, this is my first time with this vehicle, so, um, we're gonna be getting the full first impressions, just to see what it's like, and obviously, it's not gonna be your fastest off the line, obviously, because you've got crawler gears, but, it does hook up very nicely because of them, and also, another cool thing about this particular Jeep, is the fact that, oh, excuse me, <laughs> the fact that it's actually, once it gets going, it's not that slow either. You've got the you've got the crawler gears for um, for when you're ever going through say mud or going over rocks or anything. But then if you're ever going to go fast, just put your foot down or I guess finger down on the Xbox controller if you're using an Xbox controller, and it just it just goes. It changes down and it goes. And it's a really nice setup. But as you can see, suspension has quite a bit of flex to it. Pretty much all the flex you would want in a crawler for spin tires. And as you can see. It just climbs right over pretty much everything. Unless you get the front end stuck, in which case you do have to put it in low and just kind of just pull it out. But either way, it just makes short work of pretty much any crawling obstacle. I mean, that's a very, I would consider that a difficult crawling obstacle. But, I mean, this thing just monstered it. No doubt about it. It just absolutely monstered it. So, I'm going to go ahead and take it to the, um, to the uh, rock pit area, the rocky area on this map, you guys know what I'm talking about, I can't remember, um, what I called it the last time, but you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, so we're gonna take this thing there and see how it does, the only thing that I'm not too fond of with this thing is the fact that it's, I mean, it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing at the same time, since it's got so much suspension travel, it ends up being quite bouncy, um, and I don't know if that's the setup, uh, or, or if that's just kind of a characteristic of this particular vehicle, but it's, it's very, very bouncy, and, if you ever go over any kind of small rise or hill a little bit too quickly, you will absolutely notice it. So there's there is that if you're if you're wanting to if you're wanting something that's fast over over like bumps and hills and stuff like that, it look look elsewhere seriously, <laughs> because honestly you'll be screaming at, at this thing because it'll roll over so much. Um, going over uh, anything like just small to medium sized bumps, it'll just flip. It'll, it'll jump, but it'll flip, so it's definitely, if you're looking for something that does that, you should avoid this thing, but if you just want a good crawler to add to your spin tires garage, this is definitely up there. I would absolutely recommend this Jeep. I mean, as you can see, it doesn't even touch the, um, like, n none of the suspension even touched on the crest of that hill. I mean, as far as the rocks go... It's, it's got it under control completely, just completely under control, no matter what, pretty much no matter what you put in its way, it's got it under control. And especially if you stick it in low like I have it in now, um, just crawls right over everything. And yeah, sometimes it will get a bit bogged down if you make a mistake, if you mess up, or if you make a mistake, it will get a bit bogged down, but... I mean, that goes along with any vehicle, really. It kind of goes along with anything. Now, I did want to talk about something that has been... I guess you could say it's been... Uh, mm, there's been a lot of discussion about it lately, I guess I should say. My intro. Um, I've gotten to the point where I... am not sure whether I want to get a new intro, or if I should... Um, just go with no intro. And some of you guys said, because I've been trying out, um, the whole no intro approach, and some of you guys said, oh yeah, that's cool, stick with that, and some, so, and some others have been like, no, you need an intro, so, what I've been thinking about doing is possibly, um, getting another intro made, it, it depends on, it depends on a couple of things, depends on, um, if I find someone that's, that's really good with, you know, 3D work, and things like that. I mean, obviously, Domestic Mango made my last intro, and Domestic Mango is incredible. Domestic Mango is a beast when it comes to editing, 3D modeling. He's amazing. But I'm I'm starting to starting to consider getting a new intro, 
but at the same time, I, I kind of like the really clean look that you get with no intro, because it's, it's short and to the point, so I'm trying to consider both sides, because I know that some of you really like, um, like for me to have an intro, and others are kind of like, well, you could have an intro, or you couldn't have an intro, like, it's okay either way, like, some of you are like, it's okay with me either way, and some of the others are like, no, you have to, you have to have an intro, like, that's what defines you, that's what makes it a Tomcat video, and I understand that, 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 you know, that makes absolutely complete sense to me, and I'm still trying to figure what approach I'd like to go with, but I'll definitely, um, keep you guys updated on that as far as, um, as far as who I'm, um, who I might be using to create an intro, or, or anything like that. Now, if anybody, anybody watching wants, is, is wanting to make one, there are a couple things you need to keep in mind. It needs to be, um, it needs to be HD, and, well, obviously it needs to be HD, but, um, it needs to be 3D, everything needs to be, uh, 3D animated, and sort of along the lines of my previous intro, but, um, but, obviously different, you know, like, using the previous intro kind of as a starting point, and then going from there, so, it's got, like I said, it's gotta be, um, it's gotta be 3D, it's gotta be animated, so, I, I'm not, not going for any 2D, uh, intros this time, I have done them in the past, but I feel like a 3D intro is really, um, kind of like the standard, for me at least, so, that's what I'm definitely gonna be looking into, and as far as, uh, crawling ability, this thing just monstered the, uh, the, this rock obstacle, just completely monstered it. Is it gonna flip? No. It's not gonna flip back over. No way. Although, and I don't think it'll do this, because this is extremely, uh, difficult, and just almost, I wouldn't say impossible, but implausible yeah I, I'm not sure if this is gonna work I'm gonna try and crawl right up the side of this rock oh my god it made oh my god it's actually uh, I guarantee you it won't go any further I guarantee you it won't go any further it's basically vertical at that point I just wanted to see if it could even get, like, you know, halfway up, which it got more than halfway up, which is incredible. For a second there, I was like, why am I not going anywhere? I was, like, completely stuck. I don't know if I disabled my all-wheel drive by accident or something, but yeah, no, I have no idea. Oh, this is a really weird angle. This is a really weird angle, probably a horrible angle to approach from, too. Come on. No, the rocks behind it are gonna are, are basically just they're holding the rear end up, so it's making it extremely difficult to go and um, to go forward. Or at least go forward up that rock. I'm trying to see if we could get get up uh, up to the top with some kind of like alternate route, you know? Like because I've been using the same um, the same route for, like, forever, pretty much, and I'm not sure if I have a, well, maybe, as long as we don't flip backwards, this route will work, oh, yeah, okay, that worked, no problem, but yeah, as far as, like, what I think about this thing, I think it's awesome, it's definitely something that you guys, uh, should definitely add to your spin tires garage, there will be a link in the description box below to where you guys can, uh, can pick up this mod, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. And I have some more Spin Tires mods uh, also lined up coming soon, so don't forget to stay tuned for those, and again, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.